hello, I'm Kyle, and I'm going to be walking you through one of the things that you can do when you're reading multiple Excel sheets into Alteryx. So for example, let's suppose you have an Excel workbook that's like this, that you have multiple sheets, and this one I have year 2003, 04, 05, 06, all the way through year 2014. And what we're going to do with this is we want to read all of these in because they're, they're the same format, basically. I mean, they have the same variable names, and so we want to read them in. Okay, so let's talk about a hard way to do it and an easy way to do it. And we'll do the hard first. And so the first thing I might do is just, as you know, from normal Excel, pull in the input data tool and then grab that file. And so I have it, have it up there at the top. And then the first one I would pull in is that sheet 2003. And so I can kind of see, all right, there's my data and you'll see fiscal year 2003. And then that goes all the way out through some geolocation stuff. All right. And then we can, now we can pull in another one and do pretty much the same thing where we're grabbing that same file, but this time we just grab a different sheet. So this time we grab, instead of 2003, we'll grab 2004 and then hit okay. And now we'll grab our, in our join tab, we'll grab the union and we'll connect both of those up here. And then we'll hit run and you'll see that I've got now fiscal year 2003. And if I scroll down, you'll see I also have four in there too. Okay. All right. So it's a nice way to do it. But if you have like 10 or 15 sheets inside of an Excel workbook, it's really, really inefficient. So here's what we can do. We can do this instead. So we'll delete all of these. And this time we'll, we'll go back to our input data tool. We'll grab that one more time. And we're going to grab this file again. But you'll notice what I do once I click on the file. Instead of selecting a sheet, I'm going to select this import only the list of sheet names. So I'll put, a, I put that radio button there. Go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see what's coming through in the data is actually the names of the sheets. OK, so those are all the names of them. And now I can use my dynamic input tool. So I just type dynamic up here and then grab that input tool, drag it down onto the canvas. And now what I want to do is connect to that same data set. So let's connect here to that very same data set. And then you just put, you know, select a sheet. Just any of the sheets is fine because we won't actually use that. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now we're here where this read a list of data sources. What we'll do is we'll actually take the sheet names. Okay, so we'll take that in and now we'll hit run. And what Alteryx has done is it's now pulled in all of these sheets into a single pool. So you'll see fiscal year 2003, and then there's four, five, six, seven, all the way down through 14. And we've got all of our data in here. Okay, so that's all of the data uh, that we needed to have pulled in from all those different sheets, which is just an outstanding and easy way to do that. And now we're ready to go forward. You have all the data from all the sheets. And the nice part is, is that because this is Alteryx, if somebody adds more sheets to this, all I have to do is point to the file. And let's say next year they add year 2015 in there. This will automatically read all of that in. Okay, so that's just a little bit on how you can easily read Excel data into here when you have multiple sheets into Alteryx. So I hope you enjoyed this and let us know of some other topics that you'd like to see. All right, thanks. Bye.